So part of Go Socks is the shape of the distribution. In fact, Go, so Go Socks once again stands for gaps, occurrence, shape, which is what we're going to focus on right now, outliers, center, and spread. If we're going to focus on the shape, we've basically got three different shapes that we're going to look at. Here's one of them. Another shape that we will look at looks like this, and then the last one that we'll look at looks like this one right here. Okay, so we're going to focus on those three different shapes. <clears throat> they just are described in different ways. This one and this one are very similar, but they have slightly different names. The first one here is we would refer to as being skewed. In fact, this one we would describe as being skewed right. And the reason that we describe it as being skewed right is because the tail is on the right hand side. So the tail is on the right. So that's why we say that it is skewed to the right or skewed right. Okay? Well, if that one is skewed right, you probably can guess what this one is. That one is skewed right. So this one, since the tail is on the left, we say it is skewed left. Again, just like before, the tail is on the left. So that's why we call this skewed left. <clears throat> now we look at our last one. It's kind of funny. Some people look at this one, and, and, and I may ask them to guess, what do you think this one is? And they might say, uh, skewed middle. Well, it's not skewed middle. It's skewed left and right because the tails are about the same. But this actually has a completely different name. And we say that this, we can describe this one as normal shaped. Or we could say it is bell shaped. Either way is okay, whether you say it's normal shape or bell shape, but it's not skewed middle. So there's three different ways that we're going to describe distributions, and that is skewed right, skewed left, and normal shaped or bell shaped.